Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another element of tips and tricks tutorial in this video i will show you how you can create different kind of floating effect with any image shapes or even text for this tutorial i am using the elementor and also the elementor pro version so if you still did not get elementor pro i will leave the elementor pro download link in my description so you can check it from there all right for this tutorial, I will use some small line of CSS code and that's all. No extra plugin, nothing more. So your site will not be overloaded. And by creating this kind of creative and nice effect to your website, you can take your website to a next level. And if you are a developer and if you are working with many clients and looking for some advanced and big clients, that case this kind of creative and cool things will impress your new clients all right now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started first i'm taking a new section and this time taking three column structure making the section height to the screen size from height making it to fit to screen and we can change the background color to a dark color so going to style tab and background type i'm changing the background color all right and now i'm taking one image in the center and some more images in left and right so first i'm taking a image module and here i'm going to upload a large image i already uploaded several images to my media so now i'm just taking you can take any image which you need i'm just taking some dummy images and now for this image i want to add some effect the floating effect so for that i'm going to my website i will also leave this page link in my description so you can get it from there here i have added some css so i need to add some css with our image to create this floating effect First, I'm just going to copy all these and then I will explain. Going to advance and if I scroll down, going to custom CSS and paste it. Alright, so now you can see our image is floating in a weird way. But here, I want to make this floating effect like here, the image will float only in vertically. So, if I look into our CSS code, here the first one is animation and the animation name is float the animation duration 6 second and is in out so the animation type is is in out and it will be infinity then the keyframes float so here i will explain how will be the animation float here float is a name of the animation and here i have created some specific animation for this float so here we have divided this animation into three part first is the zero percent so this is the initial state and 50 percent this is the 50 percent state of this animation and this is the hundred percent and in the initial state the transform it will be translate y so vertically translate is zero when it go for another 50 percent the translate here in our css i just created three type of transform or three type of animation which we can use but here i'm using only one type for this image here i only want to use the vertically so i'm removing the translate x here only it will work by translate y so it will move by vertically it's also rotating in z axis by 23 degree and also scale up so it's scale down and scale up so i'm removing this two effect also so now you can see it's only moving by vertically if i hide the panel you will see the look and it's looking very cool and in the similar way we can create any kind of effect with any text or images using this type of css let's go ahead first i'm saving this page and now in the same way i'm just taking some images or shapes in the left side so going here and taking another image and here i'm taking some small shapes i'm taking this one and now 
I'm going to advance width I'm making it to inline and also the position I'm making it to absolute so now we can move the image to anywhere of this page I'm moving it to the down left like here and now I'm going to add the floating effect CSS with this image so again going here or we can copy CSS from this image and for this image I want to change the animation effect little bit so this case if I go here and if I go to advance and custom CSS first I'm going to paste it and you see it's floating vertically and now here I want to add some more effect like here with the vertical effect it will also move by z axis and also it will rotate by some degrees so in the similar way I'm typing translate X and pixel I'm setting 20 pixel or we can set any amount so now you see it's moving by z axis and y axis and also I'm going to add the rotate effect rotate and capital G and in bracket I'm adding 23 degree now you can see this image is moving by z axis and y axis and also it's rotating by 23 degree but the problem is in the same time we see the large image animation is also changed this is because of the same name we are using for this two image so the same effect is working for this image also so now I'm changing the image animation name to different one so here I'm changing the float one also the same name is using here and now we can see the animation for this image is the previous one and also the new animation is working for this image all right so hope you understand the concept and now in the same way I'm going to create some more images in the left side going to copy or duplicate and now I'm moving it to top and for this image I'm changing this icon or the shape I'm taking this one and here we can also change the animation effect so going to advance and custom CSS first changing the name to float 2 and also changing the animation name and here I'm going to create a different kind of movement so we can remove the rotate from here and we can leave only the X axis I'm removing Y axis so now it's only moving by X alright and now in the same way I'm going to add some more images very quickly alright I have added some more images in the left side and also added this floating effect with all of the images but here I have did it in a different way for each of the image like for this image if I check here I have added the animation for translate X translate Y and also the scale so when it's moved by X axis and Y axis it will also scale down to a smaller size and also I have added animations for each of the images little bit different way so it look very natural and cool so you can add your own effect or own animation in the same way with your image and now finally I'm going to add some images or shapes on the right side and also going to add some floating effect all right I'm done I have added some more images with this floating effect on the right side and finally saving our page now if I hide the panel we see it's looking so cool hope you understand the basic concept and following the same process you can create any kind of floating effect or animation with your image all right that's all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any WordPress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video